Okay. I want to get tuned real quickly. Okay. Borrow that for a second. our posture. Okay. Okay. So remember, you start feet like this, mm -hmm. and that one a little forward. Okay. Then we first put up violin onto the shoulder. You want to be relaxed. Okay. You can have it a little more facing no, the other way. There you go. And then the left hand, you want to, right now you're kind of underneath there, you want to have it a little more hanging like this. Right okay. here. So that a little more vertical. A little more vertical? Yeah, like that, except a little lower down. Like there's a little space here. Just a little. There you go. And you want it to be relaxed. Right, exactly. Okay. Then so we hold we've got the left we've got the violin held, then we hold the bow up. Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. If you remember, you want the bow to, you want to kind of have a, a nice square there. Okay. No, oh, a little more elbow down. There you go. There you go. But your your left arm can come up a little, but not 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 like okay. that. We're just relaxed. Put the bow um, in the middle, right there. Yeah. And yeah, good. And now with just kind of move it across the strings like that. Okay. But at the middle, so okay. right there, just stay real relaxed. A little further, and then just, just first set it on the string. Good. Just set it. Just set it there. Okay. Yeah. Just let it sit. Just be real relaxed. Now, there you go. Change the strings. Yeah. See how the right arm mm -hmm. goes like that. See how that. Good. Just Very raises. Good. Yeah, the shoulder pivots. doesn't raise the arm, just the arm. Right, exactly. Just pivots. And now remember, with your left hand, you want you want the thumb to be bent right here. There you go. Exactly. So let's go back. Okay. But let's go to the middle because it's easier to practice there. Okay. Look for there. You go. And right, yeah. But remember to stay loose. Now just with the, uh, try just hold it, once you get the bow placed on there, okay. hold it just with the middle finger and the thumb. Once you get it placed on, you don't have to put it on like that, but there you go. There, exactly. But don't play, just okay. pivot it. Good, stay relaxed. So, the, so now put the bow in your left hand like this, but keep no, right in the middle. Okay. Keep, keep keep it on your shoulder. Keep the okay, violin okay. on your shoulder. In the middle. In the middle. You know, the middle of the bow. No, grab it. Grab the bow right here like this. Oh, okay. Yep. Further at the middle. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. Then we're going to go like this. Okay. Put your arm like this and then go like this. There you go. But not so far off. Just relaxed. 
it's not, you know, don't use a lot of muscle, just real gently. Then once you get it like here, mm -hmm. then go like this. Yeah, don't, right now, for right now, don't extend the, okay. just go like that. But I think your bowl is a little in the way, so oh. just flip it there. There you go. Okay. And just, yeah, don't, remember, you want to be totally relaxed, no tension. But now you're not, I want you to go like this. And then, with your right hand, I have it like, just like this, like you're holding the ball, but don't hold the ball. Okay. Just like this. Just like that. Relaxed. And then, there you go. There you go. Okay. So let's pick the bow up again now. Put it at the... Okay. In the middle? Yeah, I don't think you've got a good grip on it. There, no. There you go. There you go. And then remember... That the thumb has got to be that like this. Yeah. So, yeah. And right now you're a little more like this, and I want you to be a little more over the bow. Yeah, you don't you don't need to move the. Okay. I'm not asking you to move your shoulder up. Okay. I'm just asking you to. Oh, to move the the hand and, and the arm a little to this side. Yeah. Yep. And then go ahead and put the violin back. There you go. There you go. There you go. But. Don't grip the bow so tightly, you've okay. got way too much force, way too much force. Okay. Just very light. Okay. Good, very good, very good. Okay, now let's try playing some, some notes. Okay. A little hot in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting a little warm. Okay. We're going to try to play some notes. And we're going to start at the middle, so put the bow on, there you go. And then just extend your arm. Good, very good. Very good. Very good. And for right now, that's very good. The bow is just working just right, but I want you to be, right now you're a little close to the bridge, kind of right there in the middle. Okay. Then, yep, just stay relaxed. There you go. Perfect. Tip. I know right now it's kind of hard because you're learning it, you've got your bow a little like this, that's mm -hmm. okay for now, but I don't want you to practice it for too long because ideally at the tip you want the bow to be flat. Okay. So right now it's a little out like this, but you're just learning the motion, so that's fine for now, but ultimately at the frog, the bow, you want it to be a little at an angle here, but at the tip it's going to be a little flatter. So okay if it's a little this way, but you don't want it that way. Okay. Right now it's a little that way. So okay, go ahead and let's try mm -hmm. again. Good job. It's not way out there. It's just you've got the motion just right, which is good. But see how I don't want you to go like no, no, no. I don't want you to do like that. The way you're doing it is oh, good. Okay. Just a little lower, you know. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah. There you go. And, good. And then let's go over to the D string. The next string over to D. That's 
So, yeah, I tried the, the, this one, the A. No, this one. Okay, the third one. Right now you're on the, the E, go to the A. Right here. Just relax. Relax. Stay on the A. Just stay. Re you've got way too much tension okay, in your okay. arm. Just stay relaxed. There you go. Good. Stay relaxed. Okay. You've got way too much tension. Okay, okay. So let's just put the bow down for a All second, right. and we're gonna just put the violin up. All right. Okay. Now just stay. Re pretend like you were bowing. Just hold the bow like this. Okay. There you go. And then just go. Okay. And then if you could just move back like that. Okay. Foot. There you go. So you're gonna go like this. And you don't have to lock the arm. It's not like mm -hmm. doing a push-up. It just, remember, don't lock it. And you shouldn't have, it's not like an isometric where you've got tension, it's just totally loose. And then let's go like here. But yours is, a little, uh, no, no, you're, that's good, but just move it a little that way. There okay. you go, there you go. See how mine is, like, watch this. It's like, see? Okay. And yours, you, yeah, now, now it's maybe you're a little too far, okay. but just relax, it's like this. Okay. All right. This is how you would hold your arm. And then bring it up like this, there, and stay relaxed, and then like that, and then kind of in a medium. But remember, I want you to go like this. There you go. So you're gonna go, and then lower. Okay. And then let's try it again. And stay very relaxed. Oh, don't know how how it bends. Okay, yeah. But yeah, remember, relax. Okay, relax. It's like, just go like this once. Hold your right hand. Go like this, just put your hand open, but up. Okay. Kind of like this. There you go. And then just, you just set the ball right there. Okay. And that, yeah, your thumb needs to be bent out, but gently. There you go. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, try to have it more of an angle. Okay. There you go. Stay relaxed. There you go. Very good. Good. Just right, Todd. Stay relaxed. Just that's yeah, just right, yeah. Well, you're a little a little too close to the bridge right now. And so kind of right in the middle, right there. Okay. There you go, yeah. Maybe even go a little further down, right there. Yeah, right now you're kind of close to the bridge. See okay. how the bow's right there? Okay. Maybe yeah. right, yeah, just stay relaxed. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Face. Yeah, don't, just, you don't have to. You don't have. Just stay relaxed. Just like this. Just, just total. Yeah, don't get tense. Just stay. And if you could just step back, like one foot. There. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little further back. There you go. And then maybe a little further over towards the stand. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, don't be tense in your face. No, nothing tense. Just watch. Watch once. Just see how relaxed.
Very good. Very good. Next string over. Great. And stay relaxed in your face too. Just a whole, just totally, uh, just totally relax your face too. Okay. Just, just total calm. This angle. Okay. And right now I notice on the E, you're you're a little. See how, see how the bow goes like that. You mm -hmm. don't want. You kind of want to keep it at a right angle. So okay. that means you've got to change the, the movement a little here. But right now you're a little like this. So you get you're gonna have to loosen up your fingers a little here in the right hand. I know that's hard, but okay. you keep the bow. Remember a lot of the. The reason you can keep um, the wrist and the arm and fingers so loose is because the bow is resting on the string. Okay. So it's like a balance point. So very, you don't have to really hold it there because it almost holds itself there. See that? Mm hmm But yeah, you want to make sure you're where you can. You want to, you're in the wrong place. You want to make sure you can, you're here. But go a little more towards the middle, towards the middle, and then on the A, just pivot the pivot the bow. Then go back over to the A, next string over. Okay, and then stop right there. Stop, and then just again, just hold the bow very lightly. And don't play. Okay. Just do the pivot the bow. And then. There you go. Just stay, just stay totally relaxed, just like Todd. And you don't have to focus that much. Okay. You don't have like right now. You're really intense, and you don't have to be. It's not like weightlifting. Yeah. Just really relax. You don't have to be. And just, just yeah, and just let the go like this once. Just yeah, just like that. But see if you can bend your thumb or make your thumb a little straighter. And it's you're really just kind of holding it. Like with these two fingers. That? Yeah, yeah. Except real loose, real loose. And but your thumb you want it to be a little out like this. That's no. kinda I know that's kinda tricky, but practice it. Yeah, and then just like if you go like this, and put it go ahead and put the bow on the string now. At the middle though. You wanna be at the middle. A little further towards a little, a little more by the middle. There you go, there you go. And then just real relax. And don't, don't, you know, don't concentrate on it too much. It's just real, you know, like we're having a conversation. It's real. There you go. And if you can maybe, there you go, there you go. More like, you want to be a little more over the bowl. Perfect. And then, there, exactly. And then you want to make sure your bowl is kind of at the middle here. In the middle here and the middle there. There you go. But stay relaxed. Don't focus so much. Just like, just relax, just like you're... Oh, I'm actually going to time up. I know what the problem is. I need to take my glasses off. Oh. That's one thing my doctor said, but oh. my short vision, yeah. the glasses could cause it. If you take take the glasses off, oh. you okay. may not. Okay. It may help your short vision a little bit, because I'm really straining my eyes, because oh. I can't see things close okay. up. Sure. I'm going to try. He said seeing things close up without your glasses may actually help you in this case. So I'm going to try it. Okay. That's what the problem is. I'm really straining my eyes and, yeah. and you're noticing okay. it. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, you could just move like a foot back and okay. backwards and then a little closer to the stand. There, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yep, just like that. Now go a little. A little closer to here. No, you're you're in the right spot there. A little further down here. There, there. Just kind of right there. Just right, just right in the middle. There. Just totally relaxed. Yeah, but remember, we want to 
line, keep the ball kind of at that angle. Okay. There you go, very good, very good. Just like that. And then just stay real relaxed. And in fact, you can almost, you can do like what I'm doing right now. You can, you can just support the, the violin with your left hand once. But we don't even use your shoulder. Okay. Just hold it there. But go more towards the middle. I want you to be at the middle. A little, even a little further up. There you go. And right now your, your, elbow, your uh, shoulder's a little high. But yeah, you don't have to bring your elbow down that much. Okay. Just so it's real relaxed. And then I want on the, here's the G. I want you to go like you're all the way on the G. Okay. And then pivot it all the way to the E. But you you, you need to be at the middle of the. Bottom. Oh, okay. There you go. And like I say, you don't have to right now while we're doing this exercise. You don't even have to use your chin. Okay. You just put the violin. But I want you to be more towards the middle. Right there, you go. Real relaxed. Okay, could you move the violin maybe a little, a little more towards here? But you just you just let it sit there. Okay. You don't even have to use your chin at this point. Okay, so like okay. this. But more, you want to be at the middle. Yeah. Just totally relaxed. Okay, now move the violin a little closer into your neck, but you still don't have to use your chin. You still don't have to use your chin. You just stand there like I am. But you want to be at the middle. Good. Maybe just a little. That's perfect. Then just maybe move your arm. Your, no, don't move oh, forward okay. your whole body. Just pivot a little there. No, no, no. Stay. Just, there you go. There you go. Perfect. There you go. There, exactly. Stay real relaxed. Okay, great. Good job. Now we're going to go back to playing some long notes. Well, now when we do this, we are going to start more towards the frog pot. Okay. So we are going to start, you don't have to be right at the frog, but more towards, there you yeah. go. Yep, exactly. triplets. This is a little trickier. One, two, One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. Okay. Now let's go back to we're going to hold the violin. Okay. Okay. You can just keep your right arm relaxed now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to put down the one. Stay real relaxed. Okay. Then the two. Then the three. But when you put it down, hold it down for a little longer. Okay. There you go. You don't have to spring it off like oh, that. Oh, okay. You can just take it off. There you go. And the fourth. There you go. Good. Good. Now I want you on the G. I want you to go one, two, one, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four, one. And then what? Two. I want you to go on the G and I want you to go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One. Take the two. tempo down a little, a little okay. slower. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, two, one. Perfect. Yeah, keep going. Two, three, two, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Good. One, Good. two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Okay, then go over to the D. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Four, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Okay, now I want you to go. One, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just with the first finger. One, two. But the, the key is you don't even have to count this to stay relaxed. Okay. For this, I use my glasses. Okay. Now, yeah. could you stand back? Like oh, sure. And now I want you to go. You're just playing the one in a different spot. But stay relaxed. Okay. Good. Exactly. And what I want you to do is keep your thumb. And hand in the same place and just kind of extend that finger. Exactly. And what you do, there you go. And watch Todd, see how the knuckle is like this? Mm -hmm. Then you just kind of extend it. Okay. Okay. There, exactly. And remember to keep loose, stay loose. Okay. Yep. Good. I'll do the same thing with the two. Then with the three. Good. But I mean, really extend it. Just stay relaxed. Remember, don't keep keep the fingers. Just just go like this once. Just re it's totally relaxed with the third finger. It's totally as relaxed as you can be. Then with the fourth. Good, good, good. And you remember your second, first, second, and third, fourth fingers, you can just keep them loose. See how? You just stay loose. Yep, exactly. Then let's go over to A string. Do I have first finger? Yep. Good. 
Then the E. So. Okay, good, good. Let's grab the bow again. <laughs> now, we're gonna try twinkle. Okay. And first thing you do with twinkle is it's on the A string. So we gotta get your posture here. Yep. You don't. The first note is an open A. So. You don't have to finger anything, it's an open A. Yeah, that's good, but that's an E. So you a, a is the middle one. Good, good, good. Very good, very good. So let's go back to the middle. We're going to go to the middle. Stay real relaxed. So you're just totally relaxed. Make sure I got my finger right, okay? Okay. Just totally relax at the middle on the A. And then, Todd, this is going to be the motion. So, put, go ahead and put your bow in your left hand. And then, da 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 So, we're going to slow it down. Bum, 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 bum. But, wait, slow it way down. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. No, try it again, slow it down. Bum, 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 twinkle, twinkle, little star. So, bum, 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 bum. Okay, so Todd, first you play that on the A. Go to the E, watch. So that's how it starts. Good. Good. No, very good. Excellent. Excellent. But I want you to use way less pressure. Okay. Just relax. And I want you to start at the middle. Not there you go. Down bow. So remember, a down bow is this is a down bow. So we're going to start on a down bow. This is an up. Okay. That's, a down. That's up. This is down. Yeah. So we're going to start on a down. Okay. At the middle. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. The only thing I want you to change up a little is go even lighter. Less pressure. Okay. But on that last note of each one, the last note on the A. You can hold it a little longer. The last two notes, actually. first finger, and okay. it's an F sharp, so it's not the first note in F natural, it's an F sharp. So let's go play that note first. Okay. There you go, stay relaxed, at the middle. Very good, very, very good, very good. Now I want you to play the F, the F natural, just to hear what it sounds like. A little lower. That's too low. Match it up to what you hear me playing. Go to the E string. No, you're up. E string. Yep. That's an F sharp, so play it a little lower. Lower. Good. That's an F natural, play the F sharp now. Too high. Lower. They're not that far, Todd. Watch once. 
They're just very close. So play both notes. Stay relaxed. Good, that's the F sharp. I'll play the F natural. Lower. Good, now play the F sharp. Good, very good. So, we're going to go back to Twinkle. Okay. And remember, it's open A. So right, so remember, the four notes you're going to play are an open A, open E, then first finger, then open E again. two notes you didn't quite play. Opinion. I just I 